and welcome back to some more Poker Rubishness. Uh, this is my first recorded match with Mono Black Aggro Suicide and I guess an unknown opponent and let's see this hand here. Uh, it's actually pretty good. We've got a couple of dudes, a couple of removal and our, our main poker spells. So we're not gonna, we're gonna mulligan on this. <clears throat> so uh, let's see what, what we're, we're up against. Excuse, excuse me for that. Let's see what I open this. Uh, Simic Guild Gate. Mm. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is that R's deck but with a blue splash. Oh, we draw <laughs> or, or one drop right now. That's great. So, our uh, the first thing that comes in mind is, is that deck. The, uh, the the green white Aris, but with with a with a blue splash, so for spectral flight and such. So let's see what what he does here. Uh, never never saw any deck playing Simic Guild Gate, so it's not green white since he's running uh, Island. All right, so now what I'm starting to think it's uh, some sort of post deck uh, that wins off of of or it could be a blue green delver or something. I I really don't know. Yeah, let's let's see what what happens here. Doesn't make any any rushed. Thoughts. Yeah, it's definitely blue, blue, green Delver since we're seeing a Delver right now. So let's see. Uh, we gotta put uh, as much pressure as we can on our opponent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this dude, put this dude down. Let's see if it tries to daze it. Not really. And we're gonna. Predator's Gambit, or Dalton's Lair. This is already a Shadow guy, so it doesn't make it intimidate. <clears throat> but uh, I'm putting the Predator's Gambit on it because I, I want to make as much pressure as possible. Here it turns. Yeah, it gets dazed. It's, that's actually fine. We time walked him, now he's gonna have to waste a turn playing another land. Since he's running same uh, Guild Gates. Uh, maybe it's gonna be harder for him to play the land, but let's just see how this goes. I wonder what, what he uses the splash, the green splash for. Let's see, it flips. It doesn't. That's always that's always good to to see when you're playing against the over decks. Not flipping right a turn after he comes into play. It's just a relief, a huge relief. Fortunately, uh, the Delver deck doesn't have much removal, so the best that he could do here is just snap a guy away. So yeah, here comes the Simic Guild Gate. I wonder if he's playing uh, Stormbomb Geist in deck. All right, so there's a Rancor. I did not see that coming. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, I want to make him sacrifice a creature so that he gets to choose either his Delver or the Cloud of Fairies. He's probably going to get the Cloud of Fairies, but it's going to save me a bunch of damage if it does. So I'm going to uh, get his Verdict, his Swamp, he can lay a uh, Vampire, and play get his Verdict on our next turn. So we're going to crash in for two here. Uh, we want to race him. That's the only way we can win. Uh, 
So let's see if the double flips. Alright, he's gonna brainstorm. So uh, <clears throat> since he has brainstorming and he won't have days up, and I am pretty certain he's not running uh, uh, spell pierces, I think I'm just gonna get this verdict right here. So that he doesn't have to have the man available to counter spell later on. Yeah, there it goes. So he obviously gonna gonna crack in with a five two the over secrets. But that's fine. I have another gets verdict in hand and I can get rid of it next turn. My Gold Rise Vampire is going to become 3-2 next turn. Let's see what it flips on. Preordain, that's fine. We keep it right here. Mm. Let's see if he rancors him. Otherwise he's just going to keep Counterspellman up, which is sad for me. Uh, two mana. Another fairy. Alright, he's actually gonna snap my Daltis Slayer. It's okay. I can deal with it. Mm. <clears throat> I think he's going to rank over here or first. Your day. Right, he preordains, that's out of his hand, it's fine. Let's see. So the next the next thing we'll do would be to rank for the aberration. Alright, so aberration's gonna die next turn, because I'm I'm gonna have days mana up. So we're really just gonna take five here. That's no no big of a deal. If we draw land, that's much better because we're gonna we we get to play a, a dude along with the along with a removal spell. Oh, well, let's go. I'm right, gonna lose one life. To last raider. Oh, that's great. Land, and we're gonna play a Daltus of the Year. We're gonna kill this. This gentleman right away. Oh, yeah. Actually, that that was very bad of me. I should have played the guest verdict first because that's the one I wanted to resolve. So and have uh, days man up. Oh, luckily he didn't have anything in hand. So let's just <clears throat> try to race him here. No, he's on a two turn clock. After this attack, so we're just gonna have F6 here because we don't have anything else left to do. We're full tap. And here comes a cloud of fairies. It's okay. That's the that's the, the sad part of if you're playing a, a two color Delver deck, you uh, you have to ensure that you're gonna get your lands right. So uh, you have to play uh, coming to play tap lands. And it's not not really uh, good for a Delver deck since you wanna always be trying to cast turn one Delver turn. Oh, Werber is fine too. He's already on the threshold. And Rancor's the fairy. It's okay, he's still on a two turn clock and... Alright, I'm not gonna lose life here. Removal spell would be great off the top. Uh, Vampire is good as well. 
All right, so what we're gonna do here is play both of our dudes, and we don't want to get hit by this wear bear because that leaves us in some crazy giant growth finds of the vest with range. So we're just gonna uh, lay out these two dudes here, and we're gonna bash in for five. Uh, we don't want to lose the lacerator right now because we want to walk the werebear, double walk, <clears throat> and try to kill it. Because we already have lethal, uh, even though he cast a couple of snaps, uh, he could bounce my uh, two vampires. I would still ha have lethal with the Daltis, and that's just fine. So we we want to make sure we, want, we double block. The wear bear. I was taking a bit of a time to decide what to do here. It's probably FK. I mean, there's not much to think here. Both guys are unblockable, unblockable right now. There he goes. Okay. So I don't think I don't see him winning this game unless he puts a uh, jumps. It, he cast a jump on his werebear and giant growth is it. I don't think there's much he can do. So I don't wanna risk it. I'm just gonna double block it. Gonna have something that gives trample. You never know. When you're playing against rogue decks also you have to be careful about everything. Because 10 life against a, a, an aggro deck is very dangerous. So you want to make sure you keep yourself at uh, a higher life total. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I apologize for that. <clears throat> so let's see. He wants a, a bit of card advantage. He is going to ninja to his. His cloud of fairies, and that's okay. He's gonna hit me for two. And let's see what he draws into. Uh, my, both my dudes are gonna die. He's gonna be able to play his, his fairy and for, for free. See if he draws something other than that. right now. He has at least a cloud of fairies and a rancor in his hand. I don't know what the other two cards are. So let's see. He's probably gonna play the fairies. Do the two mana. I don't know what he possibly could have here that could save him. Alright, so he's digging for an answer. I don't think he's got anything in hand that could help him. Oh, he puts two cards on top. Let's see what it is. It's a rancor. Uh, so that's that's the game. I think he just wants to film a swing. Alright, he concedes. So thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna try to make more videos from this deck that is very good in my opinion. So that's it.
If you liked it, uh, like the video, favorite it, and subscribe. Share with your Magic the Gathering community on Facebook or whatever. Um, thanks for watching again, guys, and keep rocking.